Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn and a view that I don't think we've seen before. I shut down all of these buttons up here and just got us inside the house. That's Edmund there. I think it was Simon who was just finishing up eating. We're at one in the morning and I don't know if I can really sneak through this house or not. It's hard to... there we go. Wow, there's workbench and storage. What were the bottles? I don't remember. If I click on it, the bottles were wine. Okay. Wow. Click somewhere else. Nope. Oh, I'm stuck with that view. Sneak into a bedroom over here and pull back. Oh, oh. I guess Carter had something to tell us. Yeah. Um, Carter's on an expedition. I'm now paused. Searching the remains of the military ship for useful things is a bit tricky. The whole thing is very corroded and falling apart easily. Still, I found one of the ship's many armories and pulled out a functioning high-tech weapon. Let's see if you can do better than Rita and pull out something more functional than a laser pistol. Wonderful! <laughs> anyway, where am I now? Oh, I'm in trying to sneak into somebody's bedroom. Didn't work. Oh, that's... Is that Edmund's? Oh, that's Carter's room. That's why there's nobody in that bed. That would be Simon. That would be... Uh, I thought Paulette was next. Where am I? Okay, I gotta... That's Edmund. Oh, okay. Then we've got Paulette. And then we've got... My... Uh, Umayar and Rita, and Kana. Okay, anyway, little tour of the inside. Yeah, get in here and see what the, uh, what the soldering bench looks like. And then the electronic research desk. Oh, wow. Computer monitors. How did we pull that off? I, I, I really want to know. Uh, that's, that's some pretty high-tech research, isn't it? And yet we can't build a, a quad runner or a dune buggy or something to get around on this planet. Though, let's see, it is, yeah, when this comes out, it'll be the day before the game releases on full release. Yeah, 1.0. And when that happens, or is that 2.0? I'm not sure. Anyway, full release on Steam at which time there's going to be another scenario added. It's a military scenario. And a lot of... There'll be vehicles in that one. So the game is progressing. I don't know if that technology will suddenly be available to research for us or not. There's a, a peek at what's left on our slate. Uh, working on sensor devices. Now, anything we want to add to this? There's a hydroponic rack if we want to grow things indoors. We're skipping the freezer. Unless that opens up something, let me know if you if you think it does or if you know that it does. Um, we've got the orbital radio. We don't need to research laser pistols. We have so many of them. Uh, hay cloth. I don't see any advantage. Hay sausage. No. So yeah, it's it's this guy. That's about it. Sensor devices, nanotube printing. We just don't need to do it. Electric smelting. Not really. Let's pop that in there. That'll be our next one. Um, though we may find some interesting things out there on an expedition. Speaking of expeditions, Carter is bringing back... Ooh. I'm not sure if that's a Railgun Sniper or a Railgun Sniper 2.0. Our Railgun Sniper looks like uh, Edmund. Looks like that, which is similar... Except this is a little browner? I'm not sure. Might just be another railgun sniper, which would be great. I'll take that too. Um, Edmund constructing fence. I don't know if they could bring back a railgun sniper 2.0. They might. Seems like they would just bring back the ability to research it. That would make more sense. And he's not taking the stairs down. <laughs> oh well, what's going on today? We researched pacifiers last time. That one. Some animals are too hostile to be tamed, but a modified version of the crossbow shooting poisoned bolts could solve this. 
I think that's a way of saying tranquilizers. Of course, such a weapon will only slow down the creature, and many of the arrows wouldn't go deep enough to cause an effect. Uh, so you might still die trying to tame some of these things. We just picked up our, or made our first carbon vest. Who gets to use it? Hmm. I don't know. We will think on that one. But Carter, <clears throat> can you... Whoa, what is... Th oh, no, that's a meal. That sure looked like a... Uh, uh, one of these guys incendiary trapped me. <laughs> and one what? Railgun sniper. Okay. So, um, who would be next? Who is the next in combat? What would that be? Let's look up hunting. Activities. Hunt. All right. So we've got Carter and Rita and Edmund. So the next qualified skill-wise would be Simon. Okay, so Simon, when you're done, what are you doing right now? You are transporting, oh, you're unloading the uh, uh, the furnaces probably. Okay, when you're done then, come on over here and equip this. Most likely, once you drop your uh, laser pistol, is that what you've got? Laser pistol, you'll probably pick it up and go put it away. Okay, so what are we up to? We're eating. It is 8 in the morning. Reading. Transporting. Oh, you're... Okay, you're just getting there. So there's a... Where are you going with that, by the way? Oh, these guys take a whole bunch of alloy. Okay. Let's stop for a second. Um, Cathra had written in wondering if instead of putting the turrets on top of this, if we should put them within one of these so that the walls would protect the turret. I didn't know you could do that. At least it, that's what I thought she had asked. That's, that's what I got when I read your comment. So let's find out. So this guy here with a turret... We'll say the machine gun. Right. On the ground it'll go. But I don't see there's any way to put it onto here compared to up here where it goes green. And up here it goes green. Over here, blocking objects. So I don't think the turrets can go I mean, when I do that, it's really on the ground. I just can't see it from this angle. But no, that won't go in there. So, cancel you. So, are we... I, th I guess we're happy with this. Where is Simon actually pathing to? Is he building these guys, or is he building this? He's out building the backside of this. So, concrete in front, and... Metal in the back on both of these structures so that we're not trying to create all of this out of concrete, which is going to take a lot of... Mm. Of course, we could be using that alloy in our weapons and not on our platforms. Let's change that to wood. Or whatever, what other choices do we have? Housing, floor... This is too expensive. That's expensive. That's also expensive. Three stone. Three concrete. This is actually more expensive than the concrete in that we get two concrete for each stone that we mine. So this is the next one. I think it's this. It's the same hit points as stone. Metal's where it jumps up. And concrete, it really jumps up. And carbon fiber hmm I don't want to waste that out here unless I you you know create uh, walls behind us to protect us from projectiles but uh, hmm yeah I don't think I want to waste the the alloy on a platform I think I'm gonna pass on that so thanks for the advice guys I uh, <laughs> I figured it out <laughs> all right discussion session is over um 
Let's get this guy evenly across the screen and pop in like that. Didn't work. Now, how do I get just those? Floor construction's 14. They seem to be the right ones. All right, cancel you. And let's put wood back there. So housing, floor, wood, and height-wise, what is that? X? That seems right. Yeah, that looks like it's even. Okay, do you. And... I don't think we'll put in stairs. I think we'll let them ladder their way up. That way bugs that do make it through don't just go right up on top and, you know, start kicking our butts. Alright, same thing here. So you, see if I can get this guy lined up just right. Now, I don't want to get into these guys. There we go. Cancel you. And one end on the ends, I did that so they can go through a gate and have the gate open up. I wish the gate would open up outward and then pull a ladder up, but they won't. So, housing, floor, wood, and... There. That's the right height. Okay. Alright. So, what is Simon going to do now that I've messed up? He just threw it on the ground. <laughs> and he's going to go get his sniper rifle. Heck with all this. Alright, so... Let's... Let's go with this. All right. Let's release you guys for building. There we go. Construct. Everything? It is. And let's go ahead and release this too. So everything here, uh, you guys construct. Okay. We're doing it. The only other question I've got is whether or not it would be wise to have a space behind in between the fence and the back wall here like we did in the front so that the scissor hands can't walk up to the fence and start busting through the flooring will they they might we're going to have turrets here shooting they may try to attack the turrets from this side instead of around from the front i don't know we'll experiment with that as we go so, with all of that, what are we doing today? I really don't know. I spent the day renovating and ripped out some walls and some plumbing and made my old bathroom just a clean slate, ready to rebuild. And I got a little time this evening and thought, you know, I think I'll sit down and record something. So, we are going to need more ore. for these turrets we have ore a little bit left all the way over here we have let's see here you're an ore you're an ore you guys are too there's a significant quantity of ore that's worth a trip okay We've got some hiding here as well and I've, i had gone through and marked everything that i could find Okay, but we're also going to need, where am I, a bunch of concrete made. Yeah, or we're at 117, so we can make the two flamethrowers. Let's make one flamethrower for now. Pause you, and let's get one turret going. So let's go ahead and set him in place. Um, <clears throat> so we've got lasers. We've got Missile Launcher, which could be further back and launching quite a distance and landing out here. We've got Machine Guns, which will sit up in here and shoot through the pathways. I think that's our first route, our first, uh, first one to try. Right there. Is that repairable? If they can stand on the side, we'll see if they can repair sideways or if they need to get behind it. That might be an expensive mistake. Hopefully I can move these afterward. Otherwise, one, two, three. So it shoots down the center and at the fence line, which means it would go right or left down the length if I started here. 
I started there. I don't need this to even build this one. Hmm. Hopefully they will move afterward. I'm going to go ahead and drop one in. Now, what was the other thing that it needed? A CPU core. So we have plenty of those. They're free. Well, they just cost a trip to go out there and get them. So, a trip to go out there and get them. 10 in the morning. Do we send somebody out to go and do any more expeditions right now? We've got one more railgun sniper. I'd love to make another pulse rifle. Is that... We need a power cell. And we can't do power cells until these guys grow up or until we find another way of getting them. Hmm. So we have no power cells until sometime in the spring. Yeah. Um, Edmund is constructing a fence. All right. Let this thing run. And Rita is doing some last-minute harvesting over there. Are you feeling better? Your happiness is maxed out. Good. You're doing fine. Let's... Carter did a pretty good job. He is still sleeping. And he's going to be quite a while getting himself back together again. Uh, eating a meal. And then Edmund is going to be ready to go. Let's send him out. We'll have Carter go do some mining. It's not that far of a walk. We'll send Edmund after he eats. Oh, he's going to get this to eat. Good. And there's another thing down here to eat. So Simon is transporting. You do that. And then then you're transport. I was going to say, can you please carry that in next? Simon's got it figured out. Okay. Edmund, when you're done eating, let's go ahead and send you off somewhere. Where exactly? We did have <clears throat> a mystery. At some point, where are you at? Right there, shooting star. You are... You're only three hours out. Oh. This time they didn't lie when they said it was nearby. Okay. We'll go and do that. So you're going to tackle that one and send. Okay. Are you still off to eat? You are. It didn't reset you. Good. So Carter is constructing a fence. No, Carter, you are going to play the hand pan for a while and get your relaxation up and then I boy 30% rest we'll see where that puts you that might be enough to get you well into the day and maybe put you to bed early <laughs> temperature in the freezer still 14 we're good there well below freezing uh, oh some Simon's transporting to this guy first. It'd be nice if he would transport to this. So let's get Simon. We have stone. We only have 10 stone. Okay. Ha. Huh. What do you take to build? Concrete floor. You take that. So Simon. Now I need Carter. So Carter, when you're done, you're going to construct concrete floor. And then... You're going to get out here and do some mining. So mine five rock chunks. Okay. Alright, Rita is doing this. I don't see any other harvesting that she's going to have to dive into next. So she'll bring this stuff back. This is a forest removal. So somebody's got to cut that one down. It's just too close to something. I don't know what it is. There goes Edmund in his balloon. You know, in the forest, these things grow close together, and other things grow in and around them. And it's kind of frustrating that when you lay them out to grow in this sense, they have to be so far apart and can't interact at all. Love to have, you know, things growing underneath the trees or something, or little trees growing in around the big trees, but don't quite get that option. Okay, Rita's is bringing in 260. What were those potatoes called? Hmm. Let me get over here. Two roots. And a few left you didn't get. Okay. Um, Carter, what you done? Did you make it out there? You did. Did you build a concrete floor? You did. Okay. And this is ready to assemble. Great. Oh, and so is this. So we have weapons now. We have unprotected weapons. This one is not powered. So power, I guess, is something we need to think about. 
need to think about a sensor that turns it on, but I'm not ready to defend it yet. Sensor devices. <laughs> I guess it's saying we need to get ourselves ready. Um, thermostat. Day-night sensor. Oh, and defensive motion sensor. Okay, multiple things. You do fit inside here, too. I could do something along this line. That's interesting. I kind of like that. It's somewhat protected. They can still kind of beat their way through into it. When there's concrete walls out here or something else, then maybe I'll be a little more, a little less worried about it. Um, <clears throat> just wondering if I dare put power through here. How do we run power? Power is a problem in that they take out power, they take out our, our weapons. So all I have to do is target a pole and we're in trouble. Um, power. Metal poles. Integrity 300. And a shooting star. 15 metal alloys. And they will mount up here. Okay. But they won't go there because... Obstructed access to another device. So they can get to that device from the side. Okay. Hmm. Not real sure where to put this. I can see the lines, the cords. If that was right there, and another one, hmm. I don't know. I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to think about it a bit. Depends on how we're going to be laying these guys out. Because it's not going to let me build it next to another one. Shooting star. Discovered some interesting rocks where the meteorite fell. They contain ore. I'll collect what I can. Okay, well, he made an ore run after all. And Carter made a stone run, which means a concrete run. So, Simon, when you're done with that, you're in good shape. Come on over and bake concrete all night long. Pneumonia. Right there in front of her eyes, he suddenly developed pneumonia. Simon, pneumonia is extremely contagious, quickly progressing and potentially deadly. Its treatment requires different amounts of antibiotics based on how long the disease remains untreated. Okay, well, you race in there, don't cough anybody on the way in, and Paulette, as soon as you are done, which you are now, you're going to draft. Come over here and wait. And... Oh, he takes a long time to get into bed. There. <laughs> Undraft, and what is your first... You're getting food. Okay, come on over here and take over for Rita and heal Simon. Grab the antibiotics. Hopefully you did. And let's zoom in here. Let's see how best. Guess right there. We'll turn these off and we'll just kind of watch what's happening in here. Oh, got her data pad out. She's reprogramming him. Oh, she's tickling him. Okay, pneumonia's done. <laughs> Gotta love animation in games. <laughs> okay, so Simon, pneumonia, heart, lungs, Pneumonia is suppressed. So the disease is suppressed and no longer infectious. In another 24 hours, it will require one last treatment course. So if you catch it at the very beginning, it just takes two courses, apparently. Okay. So we've got this guy capable of being built, that one capable of being built. I think instead I would like to see Carter, who's sleeping. Yeah, tomorrow. Let's get... Actually, I want to check out something. I can get them building fences, but Expedition Carter went... No, Edmund went to Shooting Star. 
is that going to now give us a source of ore every time he goes in? I don't know. When he gets back, we'll see if this disappears. It'd be nice to send him out, you know, three hours at a time, bring back ore each time, but that seems a little bit too easy. Rita is harvesting. We're running? No. There we go. So, over here, I think everything is planted and ready to go. We just need a couple of candidates for our, our wedding chapel area. Yeah. So, power over here. They're kind of winding down, so I feel like I can think about things. I guess I need to see how the big bugs interact with the area. So, do I waste the alloy on steel out here and then wood inside if I put the steel out here these guys there you are that is going to block yeah so we're gonna obstruct can't even go one to the side gotta be completely away so that means that we're really limiting where we can place our turrets so they can't be there over here, they're going to get picked on. Edmund's back. Can't put it there. So they're going to be outside. Which means they need to be the highest integrity. Yeah. Okay. So if I get over here, I can tie both at this point. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. And copy. Send you as far away as I can right there. there but I can't reach power wise okay so it looks like it's gonna be here but obstructed access there's a gate over there okay so I can see the wires yeah they're going across so there and then I guess oh Kurt or Edmund is working good let's get these fences done um, in fact let's try to get well hmm I think we're still over here for one more battle I really do in fact we need to Get these guys. You waiting to be armed. Okay. Need to get somebody out there to do that. Um, power. Wooden pole this time. Much cheaper. Into. I guess into about like that. I just wish there was a way to tie all these together somewhere else. Oh, okay. These don't obstruct. Oh, they do. Yeah, still one space over. Hmm. I'd love to have some redundancy. They take this out. This guy's over here, and he can connect to them as well. But I don't dare put right in the pathway of where the bugs are going to be as well as where these guys are going to be shooting through. So that doesn't work. So you got to be in here. Furthest I can get over is about like that. I think that's good. We need to connect over to probably this guy. Let's send him out to there. Oh, and we're good? We're good. Okay. Get those built. We're powered here. This, I don't believe, requires any power. Does this show... Doesn't... Shoots at targets. Um, no, it doesn't give me any, any indication of power usage. So this won't either, even if it did. I'm pretty sure this is fuel only, and this is electricity. Okay. Am I running? I am. These things are going nice and slow. Uh, going to sleep. Yeah, we're good. So what's going on out and around us? I haven't really taken a tour lately to see what's out here. Kind of a quick run through. I don't see any animals through there. There's that ominous music. Wow. We're kind of animal-less right now. What's going on? Got our our local uh, Draka herd. We have some Ulfan over here somewhere. Umiar's got a cold. The X's are poos, which we're not really collecting anymore. Wow, that's a lot of noise. Huh. Sounds like wind or water flowing 
doesn't really fit what I'm seeing out here. Anyway, up in this area, got a couple of these guys, and yeah, it's kind of boring out there right now. No giant chickens out there hunting everything. Oh, hello. Yeah, you guys are doing your little chirping things. So, oh, how did I pause? I don't know. There they go. Okay. Ouch. So, these guys are, are bullying everybody out in this little meadow. Where are we? We are off in this way. Uh, Rita's now got pneumonia. Okay. Time to get back and see what's going on. Let's get Paulette up. Edmund's there. Paulette's sleeping. Rita is awaiting treatment. So, Paulette, you are our in-house doctor. Can you heal? Edmund also has the ability to. But I think Paulette's the one that uh, skills up the fastest. So, Edmund, how are you doing? You're up. Your sleep is done. Let's get you something to eat. Buttermelon pie... Happiness is right there, so yeah, buttermelon pie. And then let's get you out here building like crazy. So, let's have you construct these three. Those. And then the gates down at this end. Uh, fence door. Oh, there's another fence somewhere that didn't get in there. Okay. And... I hit the wrong thing, didn't I? Yep, I did. You, fence door, and then let's get, not, no purple over there. I guess these guys. So, wood fence, fence doors times four, and more fences. Okay, now I need to reconstruct what I hit the wrong thing on this was this was a gate so you copy rotate drop into there okay so maybe now nah, we're not gonna be able to get enough of this done by the next attack but at least these won't become targets in fact I guess I could go ahead and cancel their construction if I do that well, I lose all the materials. Does it just drop on the ground? Or does it stay... It stays associated with it. Okay. Let's not build them yet. I don't know if the bugs are going to target it if it exists. And we're not there to stop them from beating it up and wiping out 50 alloy on us. So let's instead... Carter, you are eating and relaxing. And when you're done with all of that, hop out here and get all of these traps taken care of. That's all of them. Okay. So you do that. Is there insufficient storage space for foods? Because I had asked all the meals to go into here, but you guys have loaded the, uh, yeah, what do you call them? Uh, the roots, the true roots in here instead. Thank you, Rita. So, this freezer I need to get rid of. True roots, beef berries, buttermelons. That should be enough. Okay. So, I could get somebody who's up. Paulette just started cooking. Rita's playing darts. Actually, Paulette's probably the best one, because that way she won't make more that won't fit in here too so paulette can you store undesired items i guess as soon as you're done cooking that okay you'll move those over there'll be room for the other which is probably in this oven no it's saying the ones that you're cooking right now there's nowhere to go okay so you'll come over here move the things then you'll continue and get back on again so rita's harvesting is there anything else that could be planted? These are done. Rita, can you plant in here? It's too cold. No. Uh, harvest, but not plant. Okay. So planting is done for now. Even these guys? Plant. You can plant. 
go there instead. Oh, I didn't think he'd made it all over there already. Get these guys planted for next spring. Okay. Um, Edmund's doing his things. And ten more. Okay, your numbers look fine. Autosave means it's seven o'clock in the morning. Simon is transporting as well. All right, so he's taking care of a lot of this. Paula's getting ready to make her next meal, which is bread. Umar is researching. Kana is getting through her second of the uh, the carbon armor. 18 hours or so per. So she's not going to fly through this too quickly. Got to figure out who needs to be wearing that first. Probably, I don't know, chest pieces on two of them. Pants on two of them. Helmet on two of them. And kind of distribute it out that way. Got a bunch of... What are you guys called again? Pankoths flying around. Tell you, when you don't play this game for a week, it's kind of hard to remember all of these names. <laughs> Alright. Carter appreciating. So, 8 in the morning. Carter, you are getting ready to go and not do anything I asked you to do. Or have you already been here? You've been here and you're back again. Wow. Okay. Then in that case, punching a pole and then mine some more. You can mine all day. Right there. That is your plan for the day. Edmund, you can play darts all the way down there. Really? Okay, walls. Everything's been repaired. Gates. Yep, they're fine. <sighs> okay. I worried that by putting this down here that somebody's going to choose that. And they did. Um, yeah, I guess go ahead and get these built next. So, construct those. And then, suppose, let's get this area going. Four and two, that's that one. And I wish we could get more wood brought in. Actually, we need to do some cutting. And Rita, you're the one that I really wanted to get some cutting, some physical in. Get your physical from a three up to closer to a five. So, you... Could use some food, and then I think you'll spend the rest of your day cutting down that forest. So, come on over and grab a fruit cake. You don't need the happiness. You really don't. Go over and grab some bush fruit. That'll fill you up, and you don't need to add to your, well, okay, 90%. And then come on over and cut seven trees. And if there's any time left, cut seven more. Yeah, well, we'll break you from that. When it gets too late. Carter's mining. Edmund is doing a lot of thumping over here. Thumping means it's been built. So we get power wires in place. Um, Edmund, when you are done, let's get this sensor built. And then we'll get that. Can I do that now? No. Once that's done, we'll, we'll set up a circuit for it. It'll be, I don't know, we'll pick something like two or three and put all of the turrets on that as well and let me know if there's anything else that needs to be on that circuit or something that needs to turn off when that circuit turns on i know there are techniques to do that kind of a thing i'm not sure exactly what if we were hurting for power then maybe we would put some some uh, power hogs on that same circuit but switched so that when the, the sensor comes on those turn off and all the power goes to the guns instead mm -hmm. I guess there's that kind of a thing unpower device a motion sensor yep Carter got to physical 7 nice he could almost go off real quick and go pick up something that uh, yeah he could although he is kind of doing that now by bringing in the stone He's almost done, too. Huh. Uh, Simon, what you up to? You are transporting bread. Come on out here and 
Hall Stone for me next. You're in good shape. Carter, you do this with these two, and I might send you off on some kind of an expedition that requires high physical. At seven, you ought to be able to bring back quite a bit of something, even if it's scrap metal. Yeah, when we get into moving all of our traps and building all of our traps, we're going to need a lot more scrap metal. Okay, so you're done there, and you're actually in good shape. Let's do that right now. You got fuel? You got fuel. All right, expeditions. What have we got? Um, we wanted to check out... That other one was right in here somewhere, so it did go away. Okay, spaceship debris, spaceship debris, cruise ship debris, which always brought back clothing, more spaceship debris, and then the supercomputers. Okay, so you are bringing back a chance of a weapon indefinitely. You are bringing back CPU cores indefinitely. Um, this guy is 11 hours away. You bring back clothing. At least you did every time we went out there. Uh, you're 8 hours away. High physical. Let's do this one. Carter and send. And let's make sure that you are doing that instead of hauling. Good. All right. You run in, grab some couple of meals, and go and take care of that. Edmund can do the constructing. And I wish somebody else would haul some more wood. Rita is making some. Edmund is appreciating a shroom torch because he needs it. Not really. Interesting. You could use a meal, though. So your happiness is doing pretty good. Edmund likes buttermelon pie. Okay, Edmund, do that. And then haul some wood. And hopefully you'll find just the right places to go and dump that. Um, concrete is not in there. Concrete is not in there. Did that not get done? Simon, I assigned you to all of these. What happened? Um, yeah, there's, there's fuel for 10 more hours, and there's nothing cooking. Okay, then Simon, you're going to haul stone. We have plenty of stone. And then you are going to come in and spend the rest of this evening baking concrete again. Okay. Yep. Didn't babysit him enough to see what he was or was not doing last time. Okay. So Rita is taking trees down. Edmund is getting something to eat before he comes. Before he goes and and brings all this wood in and drops it off wherever he wants to. Uh, Umiar is researching what now? The orbital radio. Now, from what I know of the orbital radio, we need to install two of these and they will triangulate on whatever's up there and i'm guessing with the scenario of becoming a trader on this world you will then get you know the rim world's version of uh of you know trading with with ships up above this scenario it will give us a path out of here or possibly supplies dropped off out of here meaning one person at a time and while they are on more and more attacks will be coming in intensely and and more often and we're not ready for that so we won't be setting up any of these soon we're just getting the research done because that's what Umayar does the best when research is all done what will Umayar do skills He's interested in combat. He could go out and do some hunting. Otherwise, he could cook. Yeah, he could give uh, give Paul at a break. Okay. Uh, Simon is handling furnace. Good. So bringing the stone over, getting these guys going. Okay, Carter's gone. And eight hours. Maybe we'll get a report back from him in time. Uh, this goes away every time she uh, 
drops a tree. Paulette is eating. Okay. Then she, how's she doing cooking wise? We have seven tasty meals and three chef meals. Okay. So ten meals in stock. That's more than we usually do. So she's, she's maintaining now. Good. Rita is cutting. Good. And still in good shape over here. Yeah, she's fine. Uh, Simon is doing the furnaces. Handling, handling, and two more. So four of them. Okay. Edmund is off over here. He is... I don't get the sense he ever picked up any of that wood. Let's have him go do that right now. Yeah, he, he skipped that order completely. So we'll tell him a second time. So I think once they go to eat, their jobs go away. And whatever you had planned for them, if you include a meal in there, it's gone. Simon Illness. Okay, so Simon is heading in. Paulette, when you're done, come on over here and treat him. Now let's take a look at Paulette's healing skills. There. So you can heal. Paulette, your skills, healing. You're already up at a three. You started at a zero. A zero with interest. So you've done a pretty good job. Because they're interested, they gain skill much faster. A lot more points rack into that score down there with her than with Edmund. We saw that one of our very first episodes and yeah, so I've always trying to concentrate her on that tactic on that that's that skill so that she can uh, skill up faster uh, that's what I was waiting to see thank you and for that matter appreciating a shroom torch let's do this one more time come on out and haul more wood read it were you you're in there. You're still doing pretty good. Yeah, we'll let you continue. Um, we got to Kana, who is now tailoring another something. Shoes. Carbon shoes. So I won't put anybody in the armor yet so that she can continue working her way down the list. As soon as I go to use some of the carbon vests, this will go below two and she'll get back to working on those again. Whereas the... Oh, she's already done carbon leggings. Uh, back. There. Um, 12 hours. But at her... Required skill of crafting 5. At crafting 8, she has no failures at all. She is crafting 10. So she's probably cutting this time in half. I would think so. So I'm thinking leggings really means six hours. And she's working on boots right now, which will be six hours a piece as well. And she is flying through this pretty quick. She only just got here with the, uh, the carbon nanotubes. Rita is transporting and Edmund is transporting. Good. So Paulette's in here cooking. Right there. Next to the open fireplace. Nice and toasty in this room. Next to our bottles of something right here. That is, I assume that's moon, no, moonshine? Yeah, this moonshine, there's the tea. <laughs> there's a lot of detail in this game if you really get in close and take a look. Yeah, she is cooking away, adding some seasonings, which she just pulled out of her pocket. A little spoon that she, spatula, she tucked back in her pocket again. <laughs> Here's our shroom torch. And Simon is going to go through and add some to a shroom torch. Oh, he already did that one. Going to add some more to this one. It's starting to run out. Yeah, there we go. Good job. All right, so still waiting for a carter to return. This guy has moved in. And somebody spooked him. Interesting. Nobody around here. You see something I don't? Hmm. Alright, so Simon is back to working on these guys again. Did he ever get to that? Concrete is still zero. That's metal alloy. Did I... Okay, I'm confused. I'm going to sit here and watch him and figure out what he's actually doing. Can you bake concrete? Is there something wrong? Is there a reason this isn't happening? Okay, there's Carter. 
but if I go to Carter now, I'll forget what I was doing here. So you are actually going to do this, right? And we're baking concrete. So why did you not do that all those other times? Or are we making it and putting it out here and I'm just not seeing it? There's no purple on the front row, so it's not out here. It's not in storage. And it's not been made yet. Hmm. Okay. Carter, what you have to do? I scavenged as much scrap metal as I could and found a sturdy case containing a laser pistol. <laughs> oh, good job. Come on back. <laughs> How many laser pistols do we have now? Uh, right there. Oh, we have two that aren't being used. We did pick up the other one on the ground. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Simon, it is one in the morning. Time for you to go to bed. Reed is going to sleep. Umiar has been researching all day. He's going to grab something to eat and he'll be going to bed. Simon and Edmund, same thing. Yeah. So, I think it's... Though I could sneak in here and... Mm, right there. And kind of end it the way that we started. That's Edmund and Umiar. Yep. There's the dartboard. Let's see if I can sneak into the hallway. He's heading to his room back over there. And I think we're done for the night. That creaking noise was Edmund getting into bed, but there's no chance I can get in there. Yeah. So, I think we are done for this episode. I guess I will uh, I'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.